So in this video, I'll be checking out the mini wireless adapter from MMB. This is a very tiny pint-sized wireless adapter for wired Android Auto systems. It supports both USB-C and USB-A Android Auto interfaces, 2.8 gigahertz in bandwidth transmission over Wi-Fi and Bluetooth version 5.3. So lots of improvements in the general bandwidth, which is obviously going to improve with quality and speed overall. And they do make this in another flavor for CarPlay as well, but I'll be going over that one in a different video, which you can check up there. Okay, so that's a brief summary of the mini wireless adapter from MMB. Let's open up the box and see what's inside. Okay, so here's what you get inside the box. You get a quite a thick user manual. You get the very small pint-sized wireless Android adapter itself. And if you have a more modern Android Auto port in your car, that uses USB-C. It comes with a supplied USB-A to USB-C adapter that you simply connect the wireless adapter to and allow you to plug it into your more modern Android Auto port in the car. Okay, so looking over the actual adapter then, it is absolutely tiny. It has a slightly different color to the CarPlay version that I've also reviewed. That is in a black color scheme, but this is in a blue color scheme to match the Android Auto logo, I believe. It has a matte black casing around the outside and there's some small perforated holes on around the outside there to help with cooling. On both sides it's blue with MMB branding on top and a status indicator light to let you know that it's connected as well as Bluetooth status connection as well once you get this connected to your Android device. Now just to illustrate how small this actually is I've got a pair of calipers here you can see how big it is in total so 37.2 millimeters in total length 24.5 millimeters in case width and then it's 14.9 millimeters in thickness. So it is a little bit thicker than some adapters, but overall it is absolutely tiny. So probably the most smallest Android Auto adapter I've actually tested so far. Now do bear in mind if you do have a more modern USB-C Android Auto port, when you're using the adapter, it does significantly almost double the length of the actual adapter. So if you've got a very small compartment where your USB port is located, make sure that you've got enough depth there for this adapter to be installed. But in full fairness, it is just generally still probably roughly the same size as a thumb drive in terms of length. So it should definitely fit in most Android Auto compartment where the ports are. There's no buttons to interact with this. There's no pass through obviously. So it is just the adapter itself. So if you do have a Android Auto port that's located quite externally in the car and it's not tucked away, something this small can actually be quite discreet in its appearance rather than something that completely sticks out too far or is hanging off a braided cable for example. Okay so that's just a brief summary of the adapter. Let's jump in the car now, get it all connected and see how well this performs. So I'll see you over there. Right so we're in the Golf and we've got our MMB Mini here for Android Auto ready to get plugged in. We'll connect this to my Android Auto port in the car and see how quickly it boots up. Okay so we're going to plug this in now. We're either waiting for a menu screen which is unlikely for Android Auto or a Bluetooth pairing process. So Majority of Android Auto adapters aren't going to display a splash screen as the CarPlay adapters do. So you basically have to look out for your the Bluetooth profile ID coming visible. That's just shown up roughly around 11 seconds. So now we can pair it with our Google phone here. So we've got the option down below. We're going to tap that and pair. And we're into wireless Android Auto. So a little bit longer than their CarPlay adapter but we're in nonetheless and everything looks nice and native as if I was connected to my Samsung device using a wire. But now we're using it wirelessly and everything looks nice and good. As for its responsiveness, it seems very responsive as if I am connected to the cable. We'll go into the navigation, zoom in, zoom out, very good. You've got pinch and zoom support as well. and the frame rate's just generally not too bad either. Let's try out some audio. So around one to two seconds in the navigation to audio delay. Very good. Shouldn't really need to improve on that. That's roughly average on wireless Android Auto. So there's no real need to update the adapter just yet. Let's do a call test. Hello? 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 Okay, call quality, very good there and the delay is also very good as well for this adapter in Android Auto. 
So solid pass there for calling. So call quality, very good. Delay also very good. The delay in navigation and things like that is also very good in this adapter. What's the weather like today? 21 degrees and partly cloudy. Okay, so Google Assistant all being a very good there as well. Listening to my voice, so obviously the microphone's working in the car too. So notifications all sounds good there as well in Android Auto and obviously returning to the car system is nice and easy. So generally Android Auto, very good with this adapter. Happy days. Going to its IP config menu and going through updates is a little bit more harder than using its CarPlay adapter. So do read the manual. It is possible should you wish to update it and improve any of its compatibility. Do some updates and also improve the general functionality of the adapter as well. So the MMB Mini Android Auto adapter retails currently for $49 from the MMB store directly. And I'll leave links down below to learn more about it. Support the channel and buy yourself one. Generally, a very good adapter here for Android Auto. Everything looks nice and native, nice and rapid interactions and delay. Uh, it's up there with all the high-end, more recent Android Auto adapters as well. Sadly, it's not two-in-one. It is just Android Auto specifically, so there's no multi-platform support there in terms of switching between iPhone and Android Auto. It's just Android Auto supported. But it is a nice, discreet, very small adapter, so if your Android Auto port is quite visible in the car, then this isn't going to stick out too much as long as you're using a USB a connection if you're using a usb-c you're gonna have to use that adapter it will therefore stick out a little bit more and it might not be so much of a solution but it's still a thumb drive size so it's not going to stick out too much i like a straight connection you're not really relying on any particular cabling so generally a very good adapter should you be looking for wireless android auto conversion in your android auto wired car all right i hope you found this really helpful if it has give us a thumbs up and let me know in the comments if you have any questions about this android auto adapter from MMB and I'll do my best to answer them. Because then I say super thanks along with your comment or question. Would really appreciate it. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers. Bye.